Welcome back. You hear stories of people finding hidden treasures in their attics. Well, tonight we have the incredible discovery of a Bible in Smithfield. It's old. We're talking from the 1800s, and the man who found it is desperate to return it to the owner's descendants. Maybe you can help. Some of your sides, Ann McNamara has the clues he has collected so far. Ann? Nicole, this is a story about love and loss. A Bible lost 126 years ago made its way into the hands of a man who just lost his wife. And he's on a mission to bring another family back together. Oh, let me show you where it is. When Fenton Wyatt's wife died last year, he got to thinking about all the things he should have done while she was still here. I went through a lot of old things after she passed. Some of them made me feel good and some of them didn't. Things uh, makes me think things I should have done that I didn't, or things I didn't do I should have, and all this kind of stuff. So Wyatt went digging in the old dry sink. He was all the way back. Back near the books, he found it. In the back, Wyatt was never, never bothered. That was the second time Wyatt found the Bible. The first was when he worked as a carpenter almost 60 years ago. His boss told him to clean out the attic of the old Gwaltney home in Smithfield. The orders? Throw away everything. Well, I never could destroy a Bible to begin with. You know, like throw it away. And then I read what was written in the Bible. I said, well, I know I won't get rid of it. I'll just hold on to it. The inscription said it was a Christmas present in 1887 from, quote, Mama to her son, Willie Folk. Folk wrote a note to himself after receiving the gift. This is what <coughs> Willie wrote. I will read this Bible every night and try to be a better boy. This is University of Virginia, January 1988. Town records show Willie Folk was one of four children born to Smithfield Mayor William Folk and his wife Martha. They lived in this house on South Church Street until 1920 when they sold the property to the Gwaltney family, who also owned the home across the street, the same home where Wyatt found the Bible, which would explain how it got there and why Wyatt is looking for Folk's family now that he's lost his own by me helping somebody else, figuring it might even help me. And we need your help, too. Local historians say Willie Folk did not marry, but his sister Sadie did. Her daughter, Martha Knox, married James Ely Jordan in Smithfield. Martha died in 1957, her husband James in 1965. If we can find their son, maybe, just maybe, we can get this Bible back in the right hands. So write to us if you think you may know them. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.